Hi and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. It's nice to see you again. Join me today in the lovely Wentwood Forest here in South Wales. And this time of year, springtime here in the UK, it's bluebell season. So I've come down to this ancient woodland and um, today, I mean, so ancient. This behind me is an actual Roman road and it, it's arrow straight behind you as well. So I've come down today and I've broke out the Hasselblad. We're going to try using this in the forest, something I've not done before. So try something new, as they say. I brought two films with me today as well. I've got some Cinestill 50D and some trusty Kodak Portra 400. Now we're not actually down into the woods itself yet. We're just on the, on the edge of the woods. I got a feeling as we head deeper into the woods, the Cinestill I don't think is going to give me um, the shutter speed I need. I mean, it's, it's a 50, it's a 50 ISO film. So it's, it's going to need some, it's going to need some slow shutter speeds and wide apertures um, to get the best out of it. Whereas Portra 400, yeah, trusty as it is, I know I can depend on that in, in low light. The other thing with Portra as well is I, I like the subtlety of the colors. I like the pastels it produces. Um, Ektar, I did think about bringing some of that with me, but I thought that's just going to be a bit too, too over the top with the saturation which, uh, which, which that film produces. So I've got the portrait, I think that's what I'm going to load, but we'll see when we get down into the woods itself. And um, yeah, have some fun with this as well. So before I decide what film to put into the Hasselblad, I've taken a few meter readings across the scene in front of me just to see um, what latitude I've got. And I've got about a five stop difference between the shadows and my highlights. So I'm after a shutter speed of at least uh, one 250th of a second. And I should be able, I should be able to use the cine still on that, but I'm a little bit undecided whether to use that or the, or the Portra. So I think what I'll do is um, I'll take a couple of images with the digital camera, see where I am with those images, and then see if we can convert those into an image on the Hasselblad. So this first composition I've gone for, I've got the bed, the bluebells out in front of me, and I've got this gnarly twisty tree, which I put right smack bang in the middle of the frame and every now and again it's catching the light as it streams through uh, the canopy there and just off to the right hand side there there's a lovely little tree um little sapling that's got this lovely green foliage as well and it's just catching the light ever so lovely so taking a few more meter readings and i think i'm going to go with the portra um for for these images and I might overexpose by a stop or two as well, just to bring those colors up and bring the shadows up a little bit as well. So I've got the film loaded into the camera now. I've gone for the Portra 400, if you haven't guessed. And my composition set, my focus is set. I'm happy with everything. I'm just gonna take a few more meter readings now, just as the light is starting to come, come through onto the tree here. So I'm going to try and take readings and evaluate what we've got. So I'll take one for the stump there, one for that little patch of shadow. And I go up into the canopy then because some of the leaves are really catching the highlights. I'm also going to come down to these blue bars in the foreground as well. 
so let's have a little look what we've got there it's given me an average um uh, once it seems been evaluated it's given me an average of an ev of uh, 14.7 which will give me a shutter speed of uh, 250th of a second so on the Hasselblad I've gone for 14 um, on the EV scale which is f8 at 250th of a second so dark slide out mirror up smile for the camera beautiful So the next composition I found is actually the one which you were looking at now and you can see we've got the footpath sweeping through the scene into the background there and particularly on the Hasselblad where you've got the square format I've got two large trees as well framing that image and it's just lovely just leading you through and every now and again the light just breaks through the cloud and it just lights this footpath up so I'm going to wait for one of those little opportunistic moments when the light comes through and I'm going to take my photograph. So I've just fine-tuned the composition. Let's check my critical focus. And again, it's one of those that focus to infinity. F8, 1 one twenty-fifth of a second. Dark slide out. And when I put the mirror up, I can't look through the viewfinder anymore, so I, I need to wait for the light. So any adjustments I need to make need to be made now before I put the mirror up. Otherwise I need to take the back off, fire the shutter, and then recock the camera. Okay, so just starting to come to now. I'm happy with that. Mirror up. There's the photograph. So as I was making my way back to uh, back to the van, I come across this composition where I'm looking through a couple of trees down towards the old um, Wentwood Reservoir. So it's a reservoir that's been drained now, but you can still see um, the tower standing proud in the background there. I've also got a couple of these bluebells just in the shot as well, and it's it's. it's it would be a lovely shot if it wasn't for this this tree sort of in the middle. Now I'm going to try and work with it to see if I can uh, make this shot work. But I've got three trees this side and I've got three trees this side bordering it and then this one tree. But the foliage is creating like a little window frame. And we're looking through the foliage down to the reservoir itself. So I've taken a couple of meter readings. There's a pad of concrete in the distance there um, with, with, the, uh, with, with the valve tower, and that's really, really reflecting the light. So that's the brightest point um, on this image other than the sky. I've tried to exclude as much of the sky as I can. And settings wise, you know, it's giving EV value of 12 at F8. Um, a 60th of a second. Now I've gone for F8 because I want these trees and this foliage and these bluebells to fall off a little bit. Um, I'm also going to try one at, at 5.6 as well to see if that uh, makes any difference. But uh, let, let, let's, let's grab this shot now while we can. So mirror up. I've already set my focus, I've set uh, my, uh, my settings. There we go. There's the image done. And I think just to be on the safe side, I'm going to do one at f5.6 as well to see if these um, 
blur anymore. Just recheck my focus. Yep, I'm happy with that. And we'll take this image as well. Lovely. So that's it then. I've had a fantastic day out here using the Hasselblad, uh, photographing these bluebells, and I can't wait to get them home now and, and start developing them. I've got no idea what the images look like at the moment. I'm going to have to wait till I get home. So if they did come out, you would have seen them through this uh, <laughs> through through this video. And if they didn't come out, then it's just been me waffling on for however long. Um, but yeah, I, I've had a fantastic time um, out here today. So I've not come across another person um, and I come out to you about 10 o'clock this morning and, and we're, we're quarter past three in the afternoon now. Um, best of the light's gone, it's gone really cloudy overhead now. So I'm going to start making my way back home, mainly because my belly's rumbling and I need something to eat. But um, yeah, leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think of these images and let me know about your experience as well out shooting um, uh, bluebells. It'd be great, great to hear from you. And also smash out a like as well and give us a subscribe. Um, there'll be more content coming up now throughout the year. A mixture of digital and film stuff as well as I continue on my photography journey. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I shall catch you again on the next video. Take care now.